In this problem, we have a homogeneous differential equation with constant coefficients, and it's linear. So to solve it, we're going to start by finding what's called the characteristic or auxiliary equation. So to find it, basically what you do is you match the powers. So this is the fourth derivative, so you put an m to the fourth, minus. This is the second derivative, so it's an m squared, and then plus. And then y is the zeroth derivative, so it's just 20. And this is equal to 0. OK, let's try to factor this. We need two numbers that uh, multiply to 20 and add to negative 9. So it should look something like this. And I guess 4 and 5, 4 times 5 is 20. And if they're going to add to negative 9, they both should be negative. So negative and negative. Yep, that's pretty good. We can factor this further, actually. This is m minus the square root of 5 times m plus the square root of 5. All right, it's a difference of squares. You can think of 5 as the, you can think of it like this, m squared minus square root of 5 squared. Really clever. And then so it actually factors. This one's a bit easier. It's just m minus 2, m plus 2. So we end up with um, four distinct uh, real roots. Uh, we end up with m squared of 5, uh, m equals negative square root of 5, m equals 2, and then m equals negative 2. And so whenever you have um, distinct real roots, the answer is, you know, of the form, y equals c1, and it's e, and it's the number times x. So it's just e square root of 5 times x plus c2 e negative square root of 5 times x plus c3 e to the 2x plus c4 e to the negative 2x. And that would be the answer to this differential equation.